Hi students, welcome back. And today we are going to learn from 3 Science KSSM 2.2 Movement and Exchange yes, Gases in Human Body. Straight away when we look at the picture, we know that this is alveolus. Don't tell me you don't know. If you read finish the whole chapter 2, you still tell me what is this, then you need to repent from your sin. Um, alveolus and when they're talking about blood cap this whole thing is the alveolus and then when they're talking about blood capillary is here is the blood capillary okay blood capillary and this the round thing is the alveolus name x what is x so it's very obvious the answer is alveolus the round round thing y and z well, let me move towards the right side. Oh, Y and Z are the gases which involve in respiration. Name the gas. So what gas is Y and Z? So from here we know that Z is oxygen going in and Y is carbon dioxide going out to the lung. So here lah, but you just write lah, okay? That's why sometimes students get the answer wrong lah, because the student will just say uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Read the question properly. Y and Z name the gases. So you need to say what is Y, what is Z. So just write here, I, I, I don't want to type again, okay? Y is oxygen and Z is carbon dioxide, okay? I don't need to type, okay? Let's move on. Diagram below show the gases exchange that occur in the body cell. So this is the gases exchange exchange that occur in the body cell. Okay. Draw the arrow and label the direction of the movement of oxygen gas. Draw. So you need to draw either go in or go out. So from here, draw the arrow. Now let's draw the arrow. Um, okay, first, there are many, many arrows I can draw because this is the blood and this body cell. So I just draw, let's say, like this. If you can draw like this, lah, huh? any any of this will do, okay? Any of this, but I don't want to draw so many. Lah. Just draw one arrow will be enough. Okay, let's draw one arrow. I put here oxygen. Assuming, because I don't know lah, huh? but assuming this 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 blood is from here to here. So oxygen will enter and then carbon dioxide. Of course, here is the carbon dioxide, okay? The carbon dioxide will come up. Carbon dioxide. Oxygen go in and carbon dioxide go out. Okay, um, explain the importance of gases exchange. This one you understand, ah? Okay, so um, sometimes I ask students to understand the and say, what is this? Okay, first we need to know what is this. This is actually a body cell. Um, if I am to draw the alveolus, it's at here. Something like that, ah, the alveolus. Let's say, let's say lah, huh, something like this. This oxygen will go in. Correct or not? Oxygen will go into the blood and it will move, move, move from alveolus to your body cell. Okay, what is this? Huh? Which part of my body huh, is like this? Every part of your body is like this. Every part, every cell from your, don't hair lah, hair got no blood. From your skin here to the, leg all the cell is like this and the oxygen need to go to the cell means while i'm talking the oxygen is going to my face muscle cell so i'm using oxygen at here as i move up down up down when i'm talking or i move the the lung the tongue uh, the oxygen is going to my body 
after it go in the skin, for example, it will come out carbon dioxide. Then carbon dioxide probably will go to the heart first. Then it will go back here. Can you understand or not? You get what I mean? Yes. Yeah, so this is the alveolus. This is your body cell. Body cell means what? Body cell means it can be anything. Your hand, your leg, your eye, your skin, your ear. Many, many, many. Okay? It could be anything. So of course the oxygen go in now. Then it will get away carbon dioxide, then it go back to your heart. That's why the more we move, the more oxygen we will take. That's why when we run, we need to breathe more because the body cell take more oxygen. If you don't want to take oxygen so much, you need to be like the yoga. How to do the yoga? Mm. Breathe very slow, very slow, everything slow down, don't think, relax. Then you will breathe very slow because your body cell is not moving and you are relaxing. You want more oxygen, then you just run, 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 fight, 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 fight. And your body cell will actually eventually take more oxygen. So that's why it, where the oxygen go? It go in inside the body, lah. go in inside and come out. Until... Sometimes you go in not enough fast, then it will produce lactic acid and it will cause pain. Sometimes you do more, a lot, a lot, a lot of exercise, but the oxygen cannot so fast go in because you the oxygen go in slow, so you produce lactic acid and tomorrow you feel your leg very painful because not enough oxygen. But the pain is healthy pain. Okay, muscle pain is healthy, joint pain is unhealthy. So it's all right if you have a muscle pain. Explain the importance of gases exchange. Why actually why the gas exchange is important? So maybe we can say okay, so why is it important to supply oxygen for the cellular respiration and to remove the carbon dioxide? So correct, right? We want to supply, take in the oxygen and we want to give out the carbon dioxide. So these two will be the main point for this question. Okay, respiration to supply and to remove carbon dioxide from the body. The following are the equation of the formation of the composition of oxyhemoglobin. Hemoglobin means what? Hemoglobin means the red blood cell, correct or not? Red blood cell. Oxy means what? Oxy, oxymoron, no lah. Oxy means oxygen. So it's the oxygen red blood cell, hemoglobin. Okay, oxygen and red blood cell means oxyhemoglobin. Carboxyhemoglobin is carbon dioxide and oxygen. But we, we didn't learn that. Maybe in biology from 4 from 5 you will learn. But for oxygen is oxyhemoglobin. So oxygen plus hemoglobin, you get oxyhemoglobin. Uh, the equation oxyhemoglobin, then you become oxyhemoglobin. Means this one is at the alveolus. Correct or not? This one happened at your alveolus. Because oxygen hemoglobin become oxyhemoglobin. Like this one. Means here all the thing is oxyhemoglobin. Then when it go to your body cell, when it go to your body cell, this you need to give back the oxygen. No, the oxygen you give back. Like you got what's the anime called? What is the name of the anime? Cell at work. You got watch cell at work or not? And then the, there's a girl that always carry the oxygen, and now when he give, he need to deliver back the oxygen to the cell body. Give back the cell. So this one will be a, if this one is alveolus, this part will be called the body cell. Let's just put here body cell.
the process equation 1 is disrupted due to the defect of red blood cell. Oh, some people got problem because he got a defect. I think this one is called sickle anemia, if I'm not mistaken. Means the usually our blood is round. Our body blood is round, round, round. Correct or not? If I can draw that like, round, round, round. But this person is sick. Sometimes his blood is the is like that one, like a moon. So instead of round, the blood is like a moon. So it cannot carry a lot of oxygen. This one can carry oxygen because it's round. So the oxygen can diffuse into it. But if like a moon, we call it sickle and the mere if I'm not mistaken, it don't transport and this is very dangerous. The person can die. That's why usually maybe they go to hospital to wait until it recover or what. We are lucky that we don't have this disease. So what will happen? Less oxygen transport to the body cell. Less oxygen transport to the body cell. Where does the equation 2 occur? Where does it occur? So it will occur at... Where does it occur? It occur in the body cell, of course. This, this process, right? So of course this process occur at the body cell. Let's put here body cell. What happened to the oxygen in the production of equation 2? So from equation 2, this question is more difficult. Huh? So I just try my best to teach this one. Oxyhemoglobin will become... So for first, if you go watch, watch the anime, the hemoglobin girl will take the oxygen. Take, 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 take. And here, he will give other people. Give back the oxygen. Give to who? Give to the body cell. Or not, give to the body cell. Lah, huh? Then you don't go first. You take the carbon dioxide and you go. Go back to the heart. From the heart, then you go back to the uh to the alveolus. Alveolus, blood capillary. I hope you can remember all these words. Okay. So the oxygen will diffuse into the body cell. Then I just say oxygen will diffuse into the body cell. Then I can say use in cellular res cell respiration uh, use in cell respiration to release energy. Okay. So um what you do after you got the oxygen, okay? You give back people lah. You take already, you need to give back people. Give who? Give the body lah. You want to take for what? Okay? So you give the oxygen back to the body. So after you give back and it will give energy. So we got energy to move. As I'm moving now, the oxygen go to alveolus, go to my hand, and the hand is moving. Cellular, cell respiration happen here. It take oxygen and the food. Then it will release energy so my hand can move. Go back, go back, go back to the heart. After the heart, go back to the lung. Okay, so this is how it works. The characteristic of alveoli. So, what the characteristic, this one might come out in your exam. The characteristic, for example. Alveolus is one cell thick, have moist alveolus spore, covered with blood and millions of alveolus. Million alveoli. Okay, first, alveolus is one cell thick. Because it is so thin, the oxygen can diffuse into the into the body cell. And it's very red, like <laughs> very red. So the oxygen can diffuse into the body cell. Covered with blood, we got a lot of blood capillary, so the absorption is more. And we have million, million of alveoli, so that we can absorb a lot of oxygen. So let's look at this question. What is the answer? 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Okay, so let's look at this one. Uh, a very thin wall. Why the cell have a thin wall? Is to provide a very short distance for the diffusion of gas. So it's very thin. Surrounded by blood capillary. So if surrounded means what? To ease the gas exchange. Means more gas exchange. A lot, a lot, a lot. Moist inner surface. Means got water. So if you have water, it's to ease the gases exchange. Okay. Hey, sorry, yeah, this one I, I do wrong already. I just erase this one, sorry. Surrounded by numerous capillary, inner surface. Moist, got water. So if got water, so the gas can dissolve. Got the word dissolve, uh, because got water. Ma. The oxygen dissolves into the aquarium water. The oxygen dissolves into our body lung uh, water. Not water, la, the moist. La, okay? So, the moist surface means to for the gas to dissolve. Here, this one is this one. Surrounded by numerous capillary so that it can in to ease the gases exchange. And has millions of areolas is to increase the surface area. So that's it for this video and uh, thank you very much. See you and bye-bye.